Sports Stars Magazine here at the Nike Tournament of Champions, and one of the great stories of the opening day uh, are the East Lake Titans, and obviously a big reason why any gymnasium, whether it's in the United States or Mexico, any sand court in the United States or all over the world that Ivana Rivera Vargas walks on, obviously she's going to have a huge impact, and she certainly did, uh, did today. Uh, two three-set victories opening the day against Notre Dame Prep, just closing out pool play against South Point Catholic. Uh, Ivana, obviously, like we talked about, Big five setter against Scripps Ranch, and now th two three setters today. Just how proud are you of this group? Just in terms of kind of that you know they're summoning their best when their best is needed. Um, very proud. I could say that 100. percent They battle every single point. Uh, I don't. I don't really have to get on them that much. I think everybody knows what their role is on the court, and right away when we're down, you just gotta talk to them, get it up, and they all they all coach together, and we all work together as a team. And I think everybody knows that each and every single one of us has each other's backs. From earlier in the season, you know, obviously tough loss against Westview, tough loss against Sage Creek at La La Jolla tournament or whatever. But you know, again, like I said, as the dress rehearsal to come here, outlast Scripps Ranch in five sets, then two three setters uh, today. How, I mean, in those really tight points, like especially even in the first set today against South Point Catholic, down 24-20, you ladies faced five set points. You came back and win 29-27. Just the mindset, the mental toughness. How much have you seen a shift? In the, in the team over the course of the fall? Um, a huge shift. I think at the beginning of the season, I knew that I had to work on their mentality and just each and every single player has their own way of working and just seeing them improve and take that feedback as constructive criticism, just, I mean, I'm really proud of each and every one of them. Like, for them, the point is not, the game's not over until that whistle is blown and I think I love that about our team that no matter what the set point circumstance or what gym or noise or home or away team, we're always gonna fight for whatever point is left as next. Most definitely. Especially when you ladies made that push at the end of the, the third, yeah. uh, just now against South Point Catholic. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Layla serving top, Ariel coming up with some huge yeah. play in, uh, in the front row. Yeah. Uh, so just in terms of like the versatility, the diversity, you know, Noel having you know, having yeah. having options. Like uh, how important is that not only you know in a two-day gauntlet like this, but obviously as you ladies get closer to the playoffs. Very, very important. I think me and myself, I'm working on staying healthy because I both balance beach and indoor and it's really hard for me. But I think everybody knows that each player on the court matters and each player on the point should be an attacker. Whether they're a DS and they need to hit the ball from back row, it does not matter. So yeah, it is very crucial for all of us to be ready to hit because that way we can mix up and confuse the blockers, yeah. Obviously there were so many brilliant points for, uh, from you uh, th throughout the day. How, but. How much does the group take even from that opportunity to play against Cornerstone Christian? You know, probably one of the, by anybody's metric, one of the top five teams in the country, right? Because, I mean, obviously, I know your group wants to be seeing Cathedral Catholic in the yeah. postseason, wants to see Tory Pines in the postseason, yeah. right? So it's like, hey, you know, like, that, like, that, that's a pretty good, yeah. you know, seem like, I mean, so, I mean, obviously, two great moments today for the group against Notre Dame Prep and South Point Catholic. Yeah. But even in a, in a match like that, like, how important is that? You know, for the long-term growth of the team to, to face that that because you're used to facing elite competition every time you step on the sand. <laughs> yeah. For this whole group to kind of have that be the norm rather than the exception. Yeah, um, it's very crucial. I think that if a player, if a team just keeps playing people that are below them or don't have the same level of ex expertise, they kind of seep down to that level or can get comfortable. And I think having people that are not only two times better but five times better really pushes a team to come together and say, hey, no matter what. It's on the other side of the court. We need to focus on ours, and we have to step up to that level because we want to win. Last thing, uh, and follow this incredible young woman at Ivana underscore volleyball. <laughs> obviously, the future of uh, the Stanford <laughs> program, uh, and obviously uh, just uh, the heart and soul uh, of the Mexican uh, national team program <laughs> as well. Thank you. I don't know, even know if, if if you recall this right away, but it's been stuck in my mind all day. Down 22-24 in the opening set against South Point Catholic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you, you're, you're on one side of the net, and you hit a shot that only a great beach player could hit. <laughs> Cut shot to the short corner <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the front right. Do, uh, do, do, you, do you recall what I'm talking about? Yeah. And like just in, the, in moments like that where people might only be thinking like, yeah. I, you know, I got a pound line or I got a pound hard angle, that you're able to slow the action down enough and like process it as a beach player <laughs> more so than an indoor player. Like how much, you know, you know, how are you able to do that? How much joy does it give you when you're able to kind of reach into that that beach arsenal yeah. in, in a crucial moment like that when you're facing a set point? Yeah, it's. I'll say it's very fun. I think playing against pros in beach volleyball, you kind of have to get into a mindset you're, that you're really going to be the underdog. Doesn't matter where the point, is, what point in the game it is. So 
knowing that the other side isn't used to that shot, that's a good pointer because they're mostly indoor players and not aware of that shot. So it's nice to always have that kind of in the back pocket. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, well, East Lake Titans had a lot in their ba back pocket today. Uh, <laughs> every time it got to 13 all, 14, 13, 14, 14, uh, you know, even yeah. 15 all, 16, yeah. 15, uh, yeah. the group rose to the occasion. And after sixth place in the bronze division last year, yeah. this group's going to show up tomorrow morning and have yeah. a chance to be either platinum or gold. Yep. How yep. fired up are you about that? I'm really excited. I'm hoping everybody else is too, and I think I'm fired up, whether it's one or it should be the whole team, but I think everybody's ready to win. Yep. Awesome. Uh, Ivana, great job. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it so much.